Hi guys, welcome to our vlog channel. My name is Maha and this is probably where I'm going to be doing most of my vlogs from. Excuse my notes. I want to make sure I cover everything today. So let's get one thing clear first today. I'm not a professional nutritionist or a doctor or anything. This is just my journey on the ketogenic diet and I thought I'll take you guys along with me. Um, so this is going to be basically about my understanding of how it works and um, yeah, just little tips and recipes and whatever you guys want as well. Give me some suggestions. So first things, what is the ketogenic diet? Quite simply put, it's a diet where the body is forced into a process called ketosis. Now, what is ketosis? Glucose is the primary source of energy when there is carb carbs in our body. Now, in the absence of carbs, our liver takes the fatty acids from our body as a source of energy. And that process is called ketosis. So once we understand the basis of how this diet works, what I did was I downloaded the app, um, MyFitnessPal, figured out what my um, calorie intake should be based on my um, target weight and my height and my BMI, basically figured all of that out, figure out your calories, put it in and then go to a macros calculator. There are lots on, online. I think I checked like two, three before I figured out which one was the right one that I felt worked for me. And then I went, this is the app, My Fitness Pal. Um, over there, then I manually fixed the macros based on what the app told me. And we take it from there. So basically how this works is high fat, low protein, and really low carbs. Um, smart thing would be to just take your carbs off like your vegetables um, or your the nuts you eat, which are high in fat, but they also have some carbs. So be smart about your carbs. As far as fats are concerned, um, make sure you pick up the good fats like avocado, ghee, butter, and things like, I mean, even coconut oil actually, that's a good one as well. Um, avoid vegetable oils and seed oils. Those are not, they're not good fat. Um, so that's really important. Just remember, I mean, it doesn't logically make sense, but eat fat to lose fat. Just, just think of it like that. So I'm thinking today, I just want to cover some of these good, important tips that I read online from various different places. And I feel that they've helped me through this journey. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm really new to this as well myself right now. I'm just two months into it, uh, but it's working. I'm, I mean, after years, finally, I feel like I see results with a diet that I'm following and I've tried a lot. So my number one tip would be, first of all, do not obsess with the weighing machine. Don't just maybe weigh yourself on a weekly basis. Don't go on the weighing machine every single day. Um, number two, try to get a partner who's somebody who does the diet with you. That really helps. You motivate each other, you share notes, you, I mean, it, it really helps. Make a weekly planner. Plan your meals for the week. Do it over the weekend or whichever day suits you best. Do that. Plan your groceries, pr prep the meals. It saves you a lot of time, a lot of confusion of what you should be having based on the calories you have left remaining for the next meal, blah, blah, blah. It, it really helps. One common mistake I've noticed a lot of people do is they feel because they can have protein uh, and no carbs in this diet, they tend to have too much protein. So what a lot of people do advise, if you can't like um, follow the macros that carefully, an easy way to go is you generally have eggs for breakfast. For lunch, if you're having a meat, then for dinner, skip meat, just have a salad. So basically eggs, meat, salad. So for all of you out there who think that this is a quick fix, it's a diet, I'm gonna do it, lose my weight. No, it's a lifestyle change. This one is something I do quite regularly and I have to keep reminding myself to stop. Don't compare yourself to anybody. My husband and I, we started the diet together and he's it's showing a lot more on him he's losing the inches his weight's dropped significantly and you know what guys not a good idea everybody's body is different everybody's metabolism is different so don't compare yourself it's just going to demotivate you so when we start this diet um we all go into this keto flu 
It's a process where your body is just adjusting to this new lifestyle. So in that, one of the symptoms that at least I went through and a lot of people I know did go through it as well was insomnia. I just couldn't sleep for hours at end. And you know what? That is not good. With any diet or just, just generally in our life, it's really important to sleep the right hours in the night. By that, I mean not just the hours you sleep, but at the right time and waking up at the right time because that's when your body is recovering in your sleep. The last tip for today is hydration. I cannot emphasize enough on how important it is to hydrate your body because it's a whole different lifestyle. Our body is going through a big change and it's important to drink the right amount of water. For me, I work out almost every day. So I try to target three to four liters of water. Now, because we're losing so much, it's important to um, have on this diet at least two teaspoons of Himalayan salt. It's the pink salt. Um, if you haven't started, just, just Google it. It's quite available everywhere. So the easiest way I find is that I've bought these small 500 ml water bottles. I fill them up every night and put two teaspoons of Himalayan salt in. So the next day, I don't need to worry about my water. I make sure I've hit my target. I see the eight empty bottles every night and I'm done for the day. I hope you found these little tips um, helpful today and um, I'll see you guys again soon. Let me know what you guys think of this vlog. Do subscribe, like and share and um, yeah, see you guys soon. Bye.